Well, everybody, I told you that I was going to start going through my library and highlighting some books, and I think I probably will try to do that every weekend. So, I realize that might not all be what everybody's interested in. My wife actually uh, commented on the last one and said, Do you see you got several uh, dislikes on that? And I'm like, well, most of my audience uh, that follows along with these is over 65 I said they're probably just as fumble fingered as I am and accidentally click a dislike button without knowing they did it but if you hate it that's fine go watch something else there's so many books out there that you just can't possibly know about the existence of all of them and that's most of what I'm doing is highlighting these because most of these I found uh, or on eBay or some of the used book sites but if you don't know a book name and even okay something about the contents you'd never even know if it existed first off and then even if you did um you wouldn't know if you have something you're interested in so the books that i want to highlight today is a pair of books here this is a, a two volume set that is probably i think the most valuable books that i own what this is is this is volumes one and two of the uh, Appleton's Dictionary of Mechanics. This is the 1865 edition. So these books are something that I don't even remember. I, I, I stumble across things on threads on the internet and stuff. Anyways, I became aware ex of the existence of these books probably eight, nine years ago, something like that, and immediately thought I've got to own this book. Like I. So anyways, um, these particular books, I think we're on that uh, Google archive, and I'll get my wife to put a link in there if I can find it for her. But at any rate, I'm going to show you a few. So just, uh, let's see here, we'll start off with volume one. So these books, um, they came out multiple volumes, or multiple editions, I think. Uh, don't quote me on this. The original might have been like 1848 or something like that. But at any rate... So what Appleton's was at this point in history is they were one of the premier, if not the premier, publishing companies on technical and in informative subjects. Um, like my wife happens to be a nurse, and I found her an Appleton's um, Dictionary of Surgery and Medicine from 1898, I think. I mean, it's gruesome stuff. Don't look that one up if you got a weak stomach. My wife loves that stuff. Like, it's pictures of how to amputate arms and crazy stuff. So... But at any rate, they had all kinds of technical publications. But what this particular set is, is an encyclopedia of what I would describe as basically everything known to the field of engineering. So when it says, you know, dictionary of mechanics, don't think of this from the standpoint of like auto mechanics. It's everything mechanical. And so this is, uh, let's see here, we'll just flip through a few pages here and I'll... Uh, you know, like here's a whole section on cloth shearing machines and then copper spinning, corn mills, um, crankshaft. Like this is a whole section just on crankshaft motion. Oh, here's a cool section. This is all um, cranes, like all kinds of cranes, dockside cranes. I'm telling you guys, like this is just absolutely astounding. But now this, because I'm mostly a machining um, Daniel, this covers everything that was known to the realm of machine shop work. Like, here's all sections on casting and founding. Um, but then, oh, here's a section on cannons, right? Like, cannons were still current technology in 1865. But what I want to find here is uh, boring. So there's a whole section on boring machines in here. This is just astounding. So these are enormous boring machines that this describes like well, this one was uh, specifically built to bore the 10 foot diameter cylinders of the Great Western Steam Navigation Company's vessel the Mammoth at their works in Bristol and so, so this particular book you're not going to read through this and be like oh I just learned a whole bunch of cutting edge technology but what you're going to learn is just some crazy crazy information about just past history and how we got to where we're at um, just stunning stuff. Like here's a whole section on derricks, um, which are, you know, portable cranes for job sites. And honestly, I looked at that and got some ideas about what I would like to do for an overhead crane system in here. But then, uh, for instance, there's uh, a whole section in here on deep boring, deep, deep earth boring. That's just fascinating. And just 
This whole book, yeah, engines here we are, when it says engines details of, obviously in 1865, this is almost all steam engines. Um, and we're talking like big beam engines and stuff. You know, like their current tech drawings, I don't know if you guys even see this, like it's a, a big walking beam engine is what this is actually showing. So just fantastic stuff. And it's, you know, everything that was state of the art in the world of engineering in 1865. So at any rate, um, I mentioned this, if you guys happen to come across this book, this two volume set, I hunted long and hard. I paid $200 for this pair of books. Prior to that, um, other than I did find one or two loose. Now, sometimes you can find individual. Um, it's pretty common. You get on eBay, you'll see like volume one or volume two. If you find them as a two piece set in decent shape, which these ones are, it's not uncommon to see five to eight hundred dollars um, as the asking price for this pair of books. Um, if you buy them one off, I have bought individual books as cheap as sixty dollars because I had started like I bought one, and there are reprints out there. But I did uh, get disappointed with that. By the way, the uh, reprints they only have I think it's I can't remember now if it's volume one or volume two. They don't have the other half, um, so you can't get both of them in a reprint, to the best of my knowledge. But at any rate, if you're ever poking around and you see either, you know, either of the two volumes or the set, and you can get a hold of these books for anything under, I'm going to say, well, like I said, at $200, frankly, that was the buy of the century. Um, so anyway, this is uh, Engine's uh, Excavator. Oh, this is pretty sweet. This is a steam shovel, like old school steam shovel that it's describing, like the kind of stuff that dug the Erie Canal, but it's ancestor kind of steam shovel runs on a set of tracks um, and then when I say tracks we're not talking like caterpillar tracks we're talking railroad tracks and then uh, you laid tracks everywhere this thing went but just I'm telling you guys anybody that's into mechanical stuff and is curious about how the world we were uh, we work in was you know formed and created this is fantastic oh here's a whole section on gearing um, which fantastic stuff this is pages long uh, matter of fact gear cutting engine so a machine for cutting gears but then this is where it gets interesting is this is so old like gearing is spelled g-e-e-r-i-n-g so gearing they didn't even have the spelling um standardized to what we know it as today but at any rate just fantastic old book that i would highly recommend if you get the time and come across one of these by all means read it and even if you don't feel like buying it I know you can get on and like say I'll try and add some links in the description to Google's um, free version of this that they've got uploaded and you guys should definitely go check Easy. this out it's here's just, a whole section on lathes and for instance I don't know if you guys see this but I mean we are talking early early technology so you know in 1865 or even going back to 1860 or uh, 1851 when I believe the first of these came out it's so early in a lot of this stuff that you're seeing the very origins of how the world that we live in is created, this is right? A like this section is... on locomotives. I mean, now look at this. What they're showing is state-of-the-art locomotives in 1865. They don't even have cabs on these yet. Like this is still very, very early steam locomotive technology that's getting laid out here. So just fantastic, fantastic stuff and just excellent detail here's a whole section on marine steam engines and then interspersed with it, it you know it's the machines that made the machines all over in here so at any rate yeah printing presses screw finisher sea lights so this is talking about fresno lenses i'm telling you if you're a curious person you've got to go check this book out and, and in, in the back here by the way it's got these big fold outs like this is you know double rotary engine this is a early turbine that it's describing here they got all these amazing woodcuts in the back. So rotary steam engine. This is a uh, vane type engine that's functioning like a gas uh, vacuum pump. Just such amazing. Uh, yep, geared engine, the screw steamer. I mean, just stunning, stunning stuff. Here's a uh, big beam type coreless steam engine detailed here in the back. So at any rate, you guys really should go out of your way to take the time and poke around and at the very least, like say, I'll try and upload a link onto the uh, video in the description to specifically these books in Google's free book uh, 
library and uh, go check it out though. So I'll bring you guys back next week and uh, show you some more of my book collection and just uh, say, and I, I share this along with the hope that if you know of some awesome book out there that I haven't discovered, I'd love to hear about it. Like I'm actively adding to my library all the time. I think I've got uh, three books on the way here right now that I just found on eBay, ordered them and uh, Matter of fact, they show up. I may even show you some of the new books uh, next weekend uh, if they look cool enough that you guys are interested in it. So, anyways, I think that's it. I'll uh, have my wife edit this thing up and upload it and uh, bring you guys back next time when there's something worth seeing. Catch you next time.